here we are on a sunny day on March 21st. Um, last Friday we got the garden measured and tilled straight away. Um, special thanks to the Parks Department for helping with that. Um, so we have officially a garden space, um, 50 feet by 60 feet, um, right next to the creek here. Um, on city property. Um, so we're looking forward to getting started in the next few weeks and uh, really starting to get plants in the ground. Um, starting with some radishes, some spinach. Um, we got a huge donation from Burpee Seeds as well as a donation from Park Seed Company. Um, so we have plenty of seeds um, and we have the space and now we just gotta wait for it to get just a little bit warmer um, before we really get growing here. out here today on April 4th. Um, I just finished um, putting all of the north-south rows in. I'm gonna wait until our first work day on the 13th to put the other ones in because my arms hurt. Uh, so we got this done. The city's gonna come out and spray it later today um, and then in a week and a half we're gonna have our first day. We're gonna get all our, our late spring vegetables in, uh, radishes and spinach, um, other cool season crops. Uh, we've got everything started, so then we have a second work day at the end of April. Um, we're going to put the tomatoes and peppers and um, those things in. Um, it is supposed to freeze this week, so that's why we're waiting a little bit longer. Um, but we are well on our way here um, at the Hillsboro Community Garden. I am out here on April 15th. Um, on the 13th, we had our first um, community garden work day. We had about 10 people come from the Farm Service Agency, the Master Gardeners, a couple of high school kids, and um, some members from the community. Um, we got uh, a few things planted. We planted four beds of radishes, two beds of spinach, two beds of peas, and two beds of carrots. So hopefully in three or four weeks we'll have some radishes and we'll have the first, first fruits of our labor from the Hillsborough Community Garden. Um, also today I put together a uh, compost bin out of pallets um, and zip ties. <laughs> um, we're gonna work on this the next time but at least there's something standing um, because next week we are actually going to receive a donation of manure from the Kelly Miller Circus um, which is coming to town um, put on by the Sertoma Club. So I'm um, gonna go out on a limb and say we'll be the only community garden in Illinois with elephant poop um, for manure. Um, get this compost pile started and then hopefully by the um, next year for we'll have uh, some soil enrichment um, we'll see what elephant manure does uh, for the garden uh, this will be a fun experiment so we are moving right along we have our next uh, work day in two weeks on the 27th um, planning some of the really the summer things and hopefully we'll be able to see some little baby uh, peas and radishes and everything going too so um, things are going well I'm excited I'm optimistic um, hopefully we can keep things up during the summer. All right, we are out here on May 5th. Um, we just finished up with another uh, community garden work day. We had seven volunteers from Master Gardeners, Sertoma, uh, the Farm Service Agency, Imagine Hillsboro, and just some people from the community as well who are interested in coming out and helping garden. Um, we had a big donation today from Nokomis Garden and Gifts. Um, Nokomis is uh, just a few miles up the road um, who donated some of their surplus tomatoes. So we put um, probably about 80 tomatoes in the ground, three rows of tomatoes. Um, some cabbage and some hot peppers in, in the garden today. Um, we also planted seeds for zucchini and green beans. Um, did a little weeding, especially around our radishes that we have that have come up already. Um, our peas that are up there already and the, the spinach um, has come up. The carrots have yet to make an appearance. Um, we have our compost pile so we'll have that um, getting started, um, putting some stuff in there. We are going to be out here next Thursday. Um, we're going to till up the rest of this. It's awfully weedy. Um, till up these rows. Put some sweet corn in. Put some watermelons. Um, see if we have some radishes. There might be some radishes by then. Uh, it kind of depends on the weather. So hopefully it'll rain tonight. Give these new baby plants a good soak. And uh, we will see what happens the rest of the summer. But uh, right now it looks like we're going to have a lot of tomatoes. I am out here. It is May 23rd. We have 
almost everything in the garden planted. Um, still waiting to plant some sweet corn, um, which the plan is to do on Thursday, although it is looking like it's gonna rain all week, so we'll see about that. Um, we have planted um, some watermelon last week, uh, planted a bunch of tomatoes a couple weeks ago, and those are looking good, well established. Um, same with the cabbage and the peppers that we planted um, in that donation from Nokomis Garden and Gift. Um, we also had our first harvest last week, which was really exciting. Um, we picked about 100 uh, radishes, some bigger than others. Um, you can see here, some of these are, are pretty pretty, pretty good-sized radishes here um, that will be picked later on this week, um, even if we don't have a, a work day. So the, the four beds of radishes that we planted are all ready. Some are bigger than others. Um, so we'll have plenty of radishes in the next probably two weeks um, until those finish out and then we'll plant something else in these beds. Um, we do have more tomatoes that I started inside, some peppers, some eggplant as well um, that we can put in here. Um, we have more green beans, uh, summer squash of course always uh, can be planted a little later. So things are going, going well here. Um, we're kind of struggling for volunteers sometime and I think um, as the summer progresses, we'll, we won't have our regular work days, you know, once a week, but maybe once a month, um, depending on what things need to be harvested and kind of setting up a better schedule so not everybody's expected to come every time. So we are trucking right along here um, and things are looking good. I'm really excited for the rest of the summer. I am out here on June 22nd. Um, we've had it's been really dry the last couple weeks, so I just finished watering, even though it's the middle of the day. Um, I'll probably come back and water some more a little bit tonight. Um, mostly just trying to water some of the really small plants, the transplanted tomatoes, um, peppers that I grew from seed that we just transplanted about two weeks ago when it started getting really dry. Um, so we've gone from being too wet early in the season to being too dry now. Um, plants are just wilting. Um, I've been doing some watering last week. We had a volunteer day. We had a couple people come out helping with water. Um, one of the good things about it being so dry is we don't have a, a weed problem so much anymore. Um, we do have, we're starting to get um, some tomatoes we have. We have fruits on our tomatoes. Um, they're kind of struggling too just with the heat and also they're just getting too big. Uh, so trying to support the weight of the plants. Um, some of them have cages, some of them don't. Um, we also have peas that have been ready. I picked um, three pounds of peas that go with the pound that we picked last week. Um, so we're up to four pounds and change of peas, um, which are really great. Um, take, I've taken those up to the Salvation Army. Um, the next thing we're gonna have, we have some zucchini that are almost ready. They're about five or six inches long. Definitely by the beginning of next week, they'll be ready. Um, and then we also have some cabbages that look really good. Um, again, we'll probably pick these early next week, um, kind of depending on the weather. Um, that, that's the next thing. Uh, the carrots um, are under those weeds somewhere, um, but there are carrots. There are getting to be about big enough to pick. Um, so we've got a couple things that are going to be ready, and then it's just kind of waiting for that second wave. The tomatoes will keep producing. We have some smaller tomatoes that um, at a diff couple different stages, so we'll have tomatoes for weeks and weeks, hopefully. Um, if we could just get the weather to cooperate a little bit. We have clouds, but no rain, unfortunately. Um, but other than that, things are going well. Um, you said we'll have tomatoes soon. This one fell off while I was walking. Um, but we're working on it, uh, doing, doing our little bit for Hillsboro. Hello again, it is August 10th. Um, we had a big month in July. Um, hopefully we'll have another big month in August as we kind of start transitioning out of some of our summer crops, our tomatoes, our zucchini, squash, cucumbers, green beans into some of our fall crops. Um, hoping in the next uh, week or so to get some of those um, planted, especially the beets and the Swiss chard that's going to take a little bit longer. Also hoping to plant some lettuce and some spinach. Um, it's been a, like I said, July was a great month. We harvested uh, nearly three or over 300 pounds of produce, mostly tomatoes, green beans, um, cucumbers, zucchini, summer squash, and uh, a few other things, carrots, eggplant are all along the way. Um, we are um, continuing, kind of starting to wind down a little bit with uh, tomatoes, um, but actually 
this week was exciting. We had our, our first tomatoes from tomatoes that I started from seed. Um, these little yellow ones, they're not very big, but they're delicious, uh, trust me. Um, and kind of starting to wind down with some of the ones that we planted early, um, but have picked lots and lots and lots of tomatoes in the last uh, couple of weeks. Um, also, the cucumbers have done really well. Last Friday, I picked nearly 30 pounds of cucumbers in one day, uh, which is pretty good for just um, the small, uh, usually about four inch uh, pickling cucumbers. Um, it's not all, all sunshine and, and ripe tomatoes, unfortunately. Um, it has been raining more this month, which is good for the plants and makes things certainly a lot easier, but also the weeds love it. So we've been kind of fighting this battle with the weeds. Um, last week took a couple of days, a couple of volunteers, and really cleaned out the watermelon and harvested our first watermelon last week, which was really exciting. Um, and have just been trying to fight this battle. Hopefully this week or next week we're going to have the Parks Department is going to come in and help us and kind of weed whack some of the beds, um, the peas and the um, spinach that didn't grow that are dormant and so we can get those ready for the fall planting like I was saying. Um, some things that didn't go well, our sweet corn is a mess, is a disaster and I gave up on it. Um, we have been trouble with volunteers and just trying to keep on track. Usually I come out here about once a day and pick whatever is ready. Um, I really regret planting so many green beans because they are very time consuming to pick as it turns out. Um, but people love them. Uh, I've been taking produce to the Salvation Army um, and to the Senior Center and the CEFS um, food pantry are out in the same uh, location and they have been um, very excited and very thankful so that's always nice. Um, to get a little bit of feedback and, and hear that people really do appreciate it and it is making a difference in this community. Um, looking forward to what the next couple of months and then winding down and, and seeing what we can finish, hopefully, hopefully finish strong here. All right, I am out here on October 25th. Um, we just finished kind of pulling everything out of the garden. So we removed all the tomato cages and um, stakes and bricks and stuff and then they are going to go ahead and mow everything down. So it's something of a, a bittersweet day here, um, the end of the season. Uh, we did pick a whole bunch of green tomatoes so hopefully those will get uh, ripe. Uh, a few more eggplants um, and picked up, uh, dug up the basil so I'm going to replant that at my house and see what happens. Um, so as you can see everything is pretty brown and dead. Uh, the tomatoes kind of had a second life. Um, so like I said, picked a whole bunch of green tomatoes today that see what we can do with. We can make fried green tomatoes, I guess. Um, but it's been a great season. We ended up with uh, more than 700 pounds of produce donated to um, local food aid agencies, including the Salvation Army, the CEFS uh, Food Pantry, and the Senior Center and the summer lunch program at the Hillsborough Area Hospital. So it was a successful season, uh, learned a few things, uh, picked up a few things along the way, um, and really looking forward to kind of um, hoping for next year, um, trying to find somebody to take over. Um, I think there's a lot of interest. So just kind of moving forward and looking forward to next year as it starts to get colder here in Hillsborough.